What's going on, everyone? It is your rifle here. Yes, I'm here, right here, right here, right now. And in this video, I'm going to be covering a bunch of glitches on Mars. You may know some of these, and you're going to be like, well, I already knew that one. All right, all right, all right. You might already knew that one. Hopefully, some of these will be new to you guys, though. And also, before I get started with the editing of this video, if you guys enjoy, please remember to leave a like. This is about to take a lot of time out of my day. Ah, say somebody. Ah. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just kidding. If you enjoy the video, leave a like. But if you didn't, and you thought it was boring and long, and you just didn't like it, well then don't leave anything. Or leave a dislike. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be fair. I guess. But anyways, to get this bad boy started, I guess I'm gonna go over what you could do to have fun with the strike on Mars. But don't get things twisted here. You can also do it on patrol, or any other missions that can get you to these areas. I'm just using the strike as a guidance. The fun begins kind of at the more difficult part, and actually this could be kind of handy for you guys in the nightfall, or the weekly heroics, or maybe even the daily. There's this nice smelly cheese spot up in these rocks up here, but you're going to be having to have an armor piercing round sniper rifle. Not to enter it or anything, but to shoot through the walls, to actually make this spot more useful instead of just a safe area. I currently have an LDR 5001 and an Effort Eats Spear on me. I also had the Prudence 2 New Monarchy Sniper Rifle, and that also has armor piercing rounds. Well, it can come in armor piercing rounds. The perks on it is randomized. So yeah, you're gonna need some armor piercing rounds, and also special ammo synthesis is always a bonus. You can, however, replenish your ammo by recharging the Icebreaker. Make it have six shots and then switch over to the armor piercing round sniper rifle, and it'll have some ammo. This spot is actually a pretty nice spot if I might add, and you'll see how easy this part will be in the nightfall. You don't have to worry about any shots hitting you. If they do hit you, just scoot back a little. Although this could be more time consuming back here, but at least you know you'll live. Now that's a pretty reassuring thought. I'll take it. Sold, this spot's sold. Also, I have thought that I got stuck back here, but I just kept sliding and sliding and sliding at the far right edge toward the battlefield. So if you guys think that you got stuck somewhere, try sliding out of it. It might take a couple retries, but sooner or later, it might help you get out. Alright, so yeah, that's basically it for this spot. It's nice. It's noise. It's noise. 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 Noise, 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 noise. I don't know what's the matter with me. Yes, I like finding Nemo. Anyways, this next spot is actually a pretty useful spot to cheese Valis. You will not take no damage whatsoever, and even if you don't have armor piercing rounds, you can be a huge distraction back here to Valis. And actually, now that I think about it, I take that back. You can possibly take a little damage, but it's rare and you are very safe. This is actually probably the safest spot to fight Valis, if you want to consider a glitch a spot, anyways. So your teammates can keep blasting on him and not have to worry about his explosions and gun rounds shooting at them. Well, for the majority, if you're actually distracting them. If you're doing your jab, that's how it can work. But anyways, you can also shoot through the wall, of course, again, with the armor-piercing round sniper rifle. And also get to see Valus pretend his minigun is a penis. It's a win-win situation back here. And this glitch is actually not that difficult at all. All you have to do is just jump through the area, kind of like us just walking down in those rocks, and boom, we're in a glitch. That's how this is, except we're jumping this time. Where this starts at is, I guess I'll use the strike for the guidance. It starts around where you can spawn your sparrow in the strike, right before you enter Valus's sex chamber. Yes, you heard that right. You don't want to go inside of it. What you want to do is go underneath it. Underneath this is actually a pretty huge opening that we can just jump up in. And then from here on out, we just got to follow the map regularly, except we're on top of the map now. That's how this is working. I know some of you are probably thinking, Rifle, you're stating obvious right now. I know, I'm not a dumbass. I know, I know. Just trying to be as helpful as I can in this video so everyone understands it. But anyways, before we head up there, I want to show you guys these spots. We can actually get on the cannons on top of Alice's sex chamber. Yeah, that's right. That whole ship is one big sex chamber. I was astounded when I found that out as well. It's pretty freaking awesome. And the other side's kind of more difficult, so it's always good to raise your agility if you're a hunter. And in case you guys didn't know, the icebreaker can also help with that as well. It has the lightweight perk that gives plus two to agility. The warlock and titan should be able to make it up there with little to no problems. Hey, this is how I got up here. I just go up on this room and then I jump up toward the cannon. Right when I hit the edge using the triple jump. But whatever works for you, just do it how you do it. I'm just giving some extra tips to help you have some fun back here in this glitch. But anyways, the special part about these cannons you don't need armor piercing rounds to shoot because you are back in the map now. Valus's sex chamber is just a figure to our imagination. It's not an actual object that you can jump on on the game. That's what I'm trying to say. Although you are able to go inside it. So that's noise. 
But anyways, to continue onward to where we can cheese Valus, you want to head in this general direction. I'll start talking again when you guys actually need me to talk again. I don't want to jibber jabber jibber jabber your ear off, because I know I already have. get to this area make sure you be extra careful not to fall down there because bad things happen to good people down there and so I don't want you guys to go down there. Make sure you land on this platform right here and then use that to get your way up or just jump right across that little gap whichever way you want to take. Also something else that's pretty useful when doing this glitch, you can actually go down here, and down here is like on top of the door where Valus comes out of. You're on top of a door like that except you're out of the map. You can get on these doors either side and it gives you a better angle at Valus in my opinion. And it can also be easier to distract Valus down here just because your shots are closer to him. And also some other little tips back here, you can actually drop down lower than just the doorway. You can actually drop down to this area. You can get back to the top when you get down here, so don't worry, you are not trapped down here. You can actually just make it back up to the top of the doorway when being down here. It just won't seem like you'll make it, but you can. And another little tip to get out of this area, you can actually jump to the side of the building then work your way back up to the top. But yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this glitch. Now on to the next one. This will be the last glitch that I explained in this video, but I will be bringing you more. So don't you all worry. I just didn't want to make the video be too long, so I can't fit all these glitches in this one video. I'm trying to explain them all as best as I can so you guys can have fun with them. All right, so for this next spot, we're going to be entering the Bat Cave. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys get the point. This is a nice hidden cavern area. <laughs> have fun and enjoy this area. So let's get this started. First things first, we're going to have to get naked and take the route that I take. We are going to be heading toward the entrance of the Black Garden. You know that big circle ring thing that teleports us in the story? Yeah, we're heading toward that area. hidden away from the map but once again it's right by an obvious landmark which is the black garden teleporter and what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing the old sparrow rude trick i don't know why the hell i just said that but we're going to be doing the sparrow trick this will allow us to wall breach into the area you can use this trick anywhere you'd like but i'm not sure if you're going to be able to go through the walls that you're trying to go through but anyways all you have to do to do this is point it into a different direction by it i'm talking about the ghost you want to be pointing it in a different direction until it says that you can spawn your sparrow. And then typically that's where you want to look back over in the general direction that you're trying to wall breach. And then spawn your sparrow and keep boosting. Hopefully you get pushed through. If you didn't, just keep retrying until you do.
push that big old turret out of you. There you go. Once you're inside, you will notice that this kind of looks like a cave, and it's pretty sweet inside here. You are underneath the map right now. You can do your own exploring when you come down here, but for now, I'll just show you a simple path to follow while being down here. It's actually a lot larger than you would presume, and you can spawn your sparrow down here, not to mention. Also, it's just a fun little area to go to and show your friends. I don't know why, but doing glitches make you feel like a boss. Like, yeah, that's right. That's right. Take that game. I just penetrated you. Because if you think about it, you're literally driving your sparrow through the game. I don't know if you guys have seen Interstellar. Well, glitching kind of reminds me of that in a way. Because I'm not going to say when in the movie, but let's just say, you know how when we glitch out of a map, we can see inside the map that's how it is in the movie it was like he was glitched out of the world in another dimension but he could see the real world it's just crazy it's hard to explain by the way i highly recommend this movie to anyone this is an amazing watch it definitely is a mind expanding movie i wonder if glitching in games kind of inspired interstellar in a way no 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 i think it's far beyond just a game inspiring it but who knows who knows it's pretty crazy, I never got anyone to notice me while being down here though, but I'd imagine if people did find you underneath the map, they'll be wondering what in the hell, just like in the movie Interstellar. My train's just about to leave the station, I'm headed somewhere but I know it ain't vacation. No pity, but I guess I don't deserve one. I'm trying to blaze a path that I know my ass can learn from. Cause I've been struggling <laughs> some, but I know I got it better than most. And when I come back around, I guarantee we'll have something to toast. Drunk in the city and the thoughts start to wander in. Point A and B are the plots that you're pondering. You're trying to catch up without any condiments. Living with a vision in prison and all your common sense. No maps and you can't make a phone call. Your GPS is down because you went and held the phone wrong. Those four G's don't appear inside your bank account. You always been the big to rock somebody's hand me downs. Always frowned upon some charity or handouts. But having your own cake to do the same is paramount. Ethical egoism for the hypocritical. Thinking that you're bigger than the people who are kin to you. Fuck. <laughs> Back in high school, spit a rap in class front like it's haiku. Cause you didn't like to share your love of rap then. Thought you sounded dorky cause you didn't have an accent. Some people never get to sleep upon a box spring. Some people only care about pen and the quick trains. Pardon me, but stanzas can stand up. Trying to find a way for these bars to bust bad luck. But when the sun shines, you open blind eyes. The minor chords turn to major and the time flies. Cause you're a kid again, happy to be a citizen. Alright, yeah, so that's about it. You can come down here and do your own exploring if you want. One more thing I'd like to add, you can actually get out of this area as well. You just have to come back to where you came in from, and you're able to wall breach back out. That's your only way to get out, and it does get kind of confusing finding where you came in from. But the good news is, you are able to get back out. Hopefully this video was enjoyable and is useful for you all. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like. It is much appreciated by me, and not to mention, it helps me out quite a bit. But I'm out of here though. Thank you all for your time. Peace. My train's just about to leave the station. I'm headed somewhere, but I know it ain't vacation. No pity, but I guess I don't deserve one. I'm trying to blaze a path that I know my ass can learn from. Cause I've been struggling some, but I know I got it better than most. And when I come back around, I guarantee we'll have something to toast.